Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me again today and thank you to everyone that's watched our previous video. The 300,000 rounds of ammunition stolen from a Birmingham manufacturer. And of course, that is very rare where you'll get such a big robbery that actually manages to pull off. And a lot of the time you will see robberies have resulted in big sentences for very small amounts of reward. So these stories definitely highlight the risks associated to anyone considering committing these sorts of crimes. Edward Woodridge from South East London has been jailed for 16 years for a £250 robbery from Attila the shop. This was an armed robbery and it was also violent as well that added to it. It happened in Southwark and he's been jailed for robbery, possession of a firearm or an imitation firearm so they didn't establish which it was. And the sentencing followed Woodridge being convicted by a jury on the 7th of January. At 20 to 7 in the morning on Thursday the 12th of September 2019, Woodridge arrived at Surrey Keys on a pedal cycle. He entered a convenience store in the Sirius building while the shop was open to the public. He held a single barreled shotgun or rifle to the cashier's head and threatened to stab him with a knife before demanding the safe be opened. When he found out there was no safe, he demanded the contents of the till. When Edward entered the till area, the victim, a man aged in his 40s, in fear for his life, took the opportunity to try to disarm him. During the incident, the cashier sustained deep cuts to his head, neck and hand, and his injuries required medical treatment, but thankfully they were not very serious or life-threatening. The robber then continued to help himself to cigarettes and £250. He fled the store and escaped on his bike. He had parked outside the shop to help with his getaway in the direction of New Cross. An investigation was launched by the Metropolitan Flying Squad and found that Woodridge had planned the robbery in advance, even conducting reconnaissance missions the morning before the robbery before entering the store. Following the armed operation, Edward was arrested at his home address in the Catford area on Friday the 1st of November 2019. He was taken to Bromley Police Station where he was charged on the same day with robbery, possession of a firearm and committing a Schedule 1 offence, threatening a person with a bladed object and also Section 18 grievous bodily harm with intent. He was remanded in custody at Camberwell Crown Court on the 2nd of November and on Thursday the 7th of January 2021, following a trial at London Crown Court, he was found guilty of all of them charges and was remanded in custody and sentenced today. The detective in charge of the case at the flying squad said the sheer luck that the injuries inflicted on the victim were not life-threatening and that he didn't shoot him was also a miracle. I applaud the actions of the man involved in the situation, but he's also lucky to have not lost his life. So that is a lot of time to sacrifice for something so small. And you see it every day on the street. Of course, sometimes people get lucky, but a lot of the time something will go wrong. It's very similar to this other story that took place in Birmingham. Two men were jailed on the 27th of January and police have now released the footage on the moment they launched robberies on security vans. They had a machete in one of the attacks and two of them were caught on CCTV. They said that the pair of robbers began a spree of violent robbery and attempts Adrian Trevelyan and Rimal Stewart used increasing levels of violence as they targeted workers transporting money but got away with nothing despite striking three times. It began on the 21st of February 2020 when a security guard carrying cash pulled up outside TK Maxx in the Warsaw area of the West Midlands. And when he was walking back to his van after collecting the money, Trevelyan was masked up and shoulder barged him over. The victim refused to let go of the money box during the struggle and a member of the public came to his aid and helped the security guard fight him off. Trevelyan fled in a stolen Ford S-Max that was driven by Stuart. Three days later, another guard had a collection from Toby Carvery on Chester Road in Sutton Coldfield. He felt Trevelyan grab his arm from behind and onto the ground and he held onto the cash box as he was grabbed and dragged to the ground. He managed to punch Trevelyan in the face and Trevelyan raised his fists as Stuart got closer in the getaway car and Trevelyan shouted drop the box when the victim refused. He ran to the car and shouted to the driver run him over. Stuart drove at the victim who jammed backwards onto the van safety ledge before the car hit the van and hit him in the leg. 
the men drove off as the victim who said that he'd never been so afraid in his life used the box to hit out at the car. And in the third attack, it was on a security van at a co-op in Stafford Road in Staffordshire on the 10th of March. The guard was attacked from behind by Trevelyan and the victim's body-worn camera shows him lunging with an 18-inch machete. And the victim was left with a deep scratch to his arm. The pair again fled empty-handed. A painstaking investigation by West Midlands Police pieced together the movements of the pair on CCTV and phone data and they was arrested. At Birmingham Crown Court, on the 11th of January, Trevelyan, 26 years old, was jailed for 14 years for conspiracy to rob and Stewart, 18 from Hansworth, was jailed for four years after admitting the same charge. Stewart said he was under the control of Trevelyan, who was just 17 at the time. And Detective Sergeant Tom Frencham from the Force Priorities team said this was an appalling series of robberies that left the victims in fear of their lives. You can see that they failed on each attempt and were getting more and more desperate as they continue to increase the violence. So I thought these were some really interesting stories and definitely highlight the risks that you take and no matter what people say about what they win, similar to a gambler, they will never tell you about their losses. So I really appreciate you joining me today. Please leave your comments below and I'll be back again with some more news shortly. Peace.